Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi. I had to put on my reaching hat. Hear me out. First of all, hi. Thank you for clicking. And second of all, yeah, my hair is soaking wet but i just i need to film this video now if you're interested in this case i have a lori vallow playlist which i'll link down below and that has all my lori vallow videos i think this is my sixth one also not to be annoying i really don't like doing this but everybody else is doing it and i i need to do it and that is if you don't mind uh you can subscribe to this channel if you don't mind and that's it okay so I came out from my rabbit hole when I googled Lori Vallow and I found this footage. I was also working on a theory about Ty Lee and Yellowstone, so I've combined the two to get this all out as soon as I can. There's new body cam footage of Charles Vallow that just got released. Charles Vallow, that's Lori's ex-husband who was killed by her brother. Alex Cox, he shot him. It's actually 22 minutes long. I edited it down to the most important parts in my opinion. And if you wanna see the whole raw footage after my video, you could link, the link is down below. Okay, so here's the footage. Why don't you come over here? So what's going on tonight? I can't get in touch with my kids. How old are your kids? Six and a half and six days, okay? Um, How long have you been trying? Two days. Okay. But she, she's lost her mind. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. We're LDS. She thinks she's a resurrected being and a, and a, a God and member of the 144,000. She's come, Jesus is coming next year. So what makes her a danger to herself and she to others? She threatened me, murder me, kill me. She threatened to murder you? Yes. And she said How did she do that? My, my bishop right there is in the car. He was on the phone with me today when she said, I will have you destroyed. That's what she said there. Okay, that's not that's not a threat to kill you. Yesterday was a threat to kill me. Today okay. before what did, what did she say yesterday? She said, you're not Charles. I don't know who you are, what you did with Charles, but I can murder you now with my powers. Okay. Okay. All right. Said so you're gonna. I'm gonna kill you too. I'm gonna. Uh, yesterday was. I'm so gonna she's speaking you. as a spiritual being. She's. She's not here. Okay. She's lost her reality. Is, has, just, is this. Is this just all recent, or has it been it's going on? Been going on for about four or five years. It's gotten really, really bad lately. She goes to the temple every day and speaks with Moroni and Jesus Christ, and they tell her what to do. And now she came here today, and last couple of days she says, "I'm not Charles. Uh, you're not Charles. You're Nick." Schneider, I don't know where she gets this name from. She got all this stuff from these people in Utah who uh, tell her how many past lives she's had and, and, and probation she's had. And she uh, uh, was married to Moroni back way back when, and she was also married to James the Just. And uh, uh, okay, this is all foreign to me. So <laughs> it's just it's foreign to me. Well, I'm not it's LDS. Crazy, it's crazy stuff. I know you're using it's, LDS terms here. I, I know, but it's just it's okay. just she's she's nonsensical. Okay. And I haven't seen my. Is he seen the older one or the younger he's one? Young. He's six and a half years old. Okay. Okay. I want to do this now. You've got a pickup order. Am I correct? We do. Okay. If she doesn't answer, mm -hmm. what do we do? If she Can doesn't answer, we can't. We, we can't enforce the order. So how does she pose a threat to your children? I don't know what she's going to do with them. I don't know if she's going to flee with them. She's going to hurt them. You today, don't even know if she's here, right? Today on the phone. I can't. All the cars are good. Their garage is closed. I don't know. She locked the garage door. I, I know. I haven't been up there yet. I know. She but what I'm... Hold today. on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. What I'm saying is, do you normally park two vehicles in the garage, inside the garage? Correct. She said to me, all your stuff is gone. <laughs> Charles' okay. stuff is gone. Okay. You're not Charles. Your stuff is gone. I don't know what that and means. And how long have you been trying to get in touch with the kids? Since yesterday. She's psychologically, she's gone. Something's happened to her. How old is she? 30, 45. 45. Oh, so it, just so if we talk to her, is she going to be able to have a rational conversation with her? Oh, she will. I'm sure she will. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's just, you never She'll probably she tell me know. I'm crazy, huh? Is yeah, that what you yeah. suspect? Probably. Okay. She, you're a dark spirit. What she's going to tell you. Okay. okay. I'm a dark spirit. 
gauge with me. He's a bishop. He's going to be a dark spirit. Whatever that means. So you're evil. Is she on any medications? No. No? She won't do medications. She's okay. a, Has she been to a doctor? No, she won't go to the doctor because she's okay. a translated being, and they would find out that she's translated. She cannot be killed. She not, cannot die. And that's what she thinks? Yes. Okay. She and she's that. been telling you that? Yes, and, and Gabe too. Okay. He heard this, not just me. This is a coming. I'm, I love her to death. This is killing the officer. Oh, well, I can understand. I, I, our 13th anniversary is next month. We've done had a great marriage. All of a sudden, the last month it just blew up. Mm -hmm. She just lost connection. Has she made any statements about wanting to hurt the children or anything? Today she said with Gabe on the phone, come take the kids. I don't care what happens to them. Come take them. Okay, but she didn't make a direct threat towards the kids. No, not a direct threat. Okay. And then she said that she would murder you through a spiritual... No, she said, I can murder you. I can murder you. And, then, and she's talking in a spirit... I will kill you. Spiritual... No, she talks in physically. I will kill you because you're not Charles, and nobody will care. Okay, so she she at this point doesn't think you are her husband. She thinks I'm Mick Schneider. Who's Mick Schneider? I have no idea. Okay, it's the name she used. I don't know where it came from. Okay, I just I'm just like I'm as bewildered as you are. This is so far into me. She knows what she's doing. She took thirty five thousand out of our bank account today. I can't make payroll Friday for my company. Okay. I've got seven bucks in my name. Does she have any weapons inside the house? Yes, she does. She rifle. does? A rifle. Does she know how to use it? I don't know if she knows how to use it. Taken off somewhere? All uh, four cars are gone. Okay. I don't know where my son is. Who lives here? That's Hi, the oldest. He's 16. He's after 19. He's our nephew. He's living here. Okay. And you tried calling him? Yes. Why? 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 Why won't he answer? I don't know. He okay. won't answer. She's got him Buffalo too. I don't know what she told him. Okay. All right. Well. Kick it in. Well, the swift kick will do it. I do a mule kick. We'll try that first. That first. You gotta get closer to the. This is not easy to look on TV, is it? <laughs> oh, it's a deadbolt work. Uh, she's taking my son. If he's not to school tomorrow, he's going to report that. I have no choice. He's sexually, I don't know what she's done. Nobody will call me. you have any tools? Okay, so a lot to unpack here, but the first thing I want to talk about is Nick Schneider. That is what Lori Vallow said that Charles had become, that he had somehow been possessed by some guy called Nick Schneider. When Charles Vallow was talking about what Lori believes, how she's married to James the Just and all that kind of stuff, this is all stuff that Chad Daybell told her in the emails. So one of the things he mentioned in his email is, so this is JJ Vallow, right? That he was uh, reincarnate from the son of James and Elena. 
Now, Chad claims to be a reincarnate of James the Just, who is a biblical figure. Lori Vallow had several previous lives, according to Chad. She was Lania, daughter of Methuselah, married Neil A. Maxwell. She was also Elena, that's who I mentioned earlier, daughter of Jesus' half-brother Judas, who married James the Just. So Lori and Chad have both reincarnated from these major biblical figures who used to be married and now they're reincarnated again, which I'm sure is another justification for why they had to like get rid of everybody and marry each other. So I bring this all up in relation to the body cam footage. Why? Because the things that she's saying are all things that have been told to her by Chad. And if she's now saying that Charles is possessed by Nick Schneider, I believe that this is something Chad told her. And the fact that she said, I can kill you, I can murder you, and then her brother Alex does just that, all the way back when this video was recorded is when the premeditation began, in my opinion. Now, a lot of people have been talking about how the police kind of dropped the ball and how Charles was warning them several times about Lori and the children and her behavior and what she was threatening. I found out that after this footage, the police actually thought that Charles was behaving strangely. And they left this whole interaction thinking that he was obsessed with the money and focused on the money and more concerned with the money than the children or the safety of his children. I personally did not get that from the video. Yes, he does talk about how she took 35000 from his bank account and how he can't even make payroll and that he only has $7 to his name. To me, that is more, he's more concerned about being able to pay his workers rather than the money for himself. And then imagine having only $7 to your name and you have a business. I don't think that that's odd, you know, but then again, who am I? Tell me what you guys think. Do you think that Charles is acting strange in this footage or do you think he's overly concerned about the money and not the safety of his kids? Do you think the police should have done more? Moving on. Now, this is something that it really blows my mind. And that is the whole theory on my theory hat. Hear me out. Let's talk about Tylee Ryan in Yellowstone. You know, the one who had the highest dark rating in that previous video I did about Joseph Ryan, how his daughter, Tylee Ryan, had the highest dark rating out of anybody. Nobody has seen her since the trip to Yellowstone. The only reason why police even know that Tylee was in Yellowstone with JJ and Alex Cox, the brother, and Lori was when they searched her computer in her iCloud account, they found that picture. It wasn't something that Lori was sharing or anything like that. They had to do some digging to find this photo. There's no evidence that she left Yellowstone and there's also no evidence or any kind of sighting of Tylee since that trip. Now, since the beginning, a lot of people believed that she was killed in Yellowstone and she was disposed of in Yellowstone, which makes a lot of sense. So I decided to dig a little bit deeper into this theory, like what if she's really in Yellowstone? How did they do it? What could have happened? Where did it happen? And what I found was insane. There is a place in Yellowstone called the Zone of Death. This sliver of land belongs to Yellowstone, is in Idaho, but is technically under the jurisdiction of Wyoming. So technically, if you were to commit a murder in this zone of death, you couldn't be punished for it. According to the Sixth Amendment of the United States Constitution, a jury must be comprised of people from the state and federal district where the crime was committed. If we look at this zone of death, it's technically in Idaho but nobody is inhabited in that area. And furthermore, there isn't even a courthouse there. So you can't get a jury from that area, which in and of itself violates the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution. So since you cannot create a jury that meets the requirements of the Constitution, therefore, constitutionally, one could claim that they can't get a fair trial and therefore could not be legally punished for this crime. So that's the legal loophole of this zone of death. Then I was like, well, how far is this zone of death from Rexburg 
that's the area in Idaho where Lori and Chad and the kids were. Well, I went on Google, checked the Google Maps. It's less than two hours drive. Then I started thinking, okay, wow, what if they decided on that camping trip to do something to Tylee and Alex was there to help, of course, like he always is with the killings that surround Lori. How would they have done it? What would they have done with the body? And I started looking at the pictures that we have of Tylee in Yellowstone. There's this one picture where she's hugging JJ and Alex Cox is right standing right next to her. And if you look in the background, you see what looks like a hot springs. According to Yellowstone National Park's own website, one of the major causes of death in Yellowstone is people falling, jumping accidentally, however, into these hot springs or geysers. Not only are these hot springs around 250 degrees Fahrenheit, but they're also very acidic. And according to the own park rangers, they say that the bodies could be dissolved in a very, very short period of time. A simple push into the geyser behind her could have ended it right then and there, no remains, can't find it. Furthermore, the authorities were not even able to search Yellowstone until way later because of the snow, right? This, the kids went missing in September. They didn't find out all this stuff until around late fall, Christmas time. And then it was the dead of winter. At around February, the police said they were waiting for the snow to melt. It's now May. Even if her remains were just sitting there on a surface between the snow and the animals and the elements, I doubt they would be able to find any identifying remains. Okay, so what do you guys think about the Yellowstone theory and all of that? The fact that Alex Cox is on that trip also, I feel like is very suspect because it seems like whenever he's around, somebody dies. Sorry for the situation, but I, I had to do it now and I wanted to make sure that I did it. Let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video. If you don't mind, I really do appreciate it. You know, I'm a teeny tiny little channel, so every little bit helps. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.